I just opened the result from a uh, bottom to up. I was going slowly, slowly, slowly. Then I saw it. I got TIR one. So I also started crying. My brother also started crying because we never planned for that. Then I called my mother, my father, my sister, and they all also started crying because they were waiting from very long time. And Himanshu, what were the challenges you faced? throughout this phase because it's not a single attempt you have been giving this exam from past 4 years right what were the challenges and the lessons that you have learned in this year difficulties were there like uh, health issues were there from starting in 2020 also i have got some allergy and uh, even in this attempt i i got dengue and for 2 3 days i was admitted and around 15 days got disturbed completely so that was one difficulty another thing is that uh, people used to say whenever i used to talk to anyone they used to say that go for any other option why you are targeting such big paper but always used to think that uh, let them say whatever they are saying i will focus on this only so that attitude i created within myself and third thing in this year i was able to crack around 3 4 papers i went there for interview also but uh, no where i got success so whenever I, i used to come back i used to feel very demotivated but uh, the main point was there i never used to sit alone whenever i have negative thoughts i used to call my teachers my parents or my friends and i used to tell them that i am getting these kind of thoughts so they always used to help me basically they always used to tell me encourage me that when you are targeting for ese why you are bothering about these papers so i think somewhere that actually helped me because uh, throughout the journey i was always coming back to engineering services nice actually a lot of people are asking me this question what is the service preference that one should put for um, esc because nowadays they are asking it in prelim stage itself so can you please take us through your dev and show us your service preference and explain why you have kept those preferences so this was my service preference uh, first was uh, its and second was irrs then third is uh, defense aeronautical quality assurance and uh, fourth is ien mms and fifth is ien as then sixth and seventh is basically junior telecom officer and central power engineering services so basically indian telecom services uh, is always being the first preference for me because i really wanted to join the telecom services and it is also the top uh, services that we are getting right now and i heard that the indian radio regulatory service they also work uh, along with the its so i thought yes second would be that option then after this i was getting confused in the option whether i should go for navy or i should go with uh, this uh, defense aeronautical quality assurance but uh, i talked with some people and i got to know that the technical part would be more in defense aeronautical quality assurance so that's how i decided to go with it for the third option and after that for fourth and fifth i kept the naval services basically so again i did not knew much about it but uh, for the fourth and the fifth i thought that okay after defense i can put uh, these as my services because i heard that uh, these positions are kind of saturation like in one place only you have to uh, be there for a long time so i thought okay after that uh, it is preferable then obviously the sixth number the telecom officer because it is a grade b position so i thought uh, that would be sixth and uh, then central power engineering because uh, the technical part is not that much in central power so that is why uh, in 2024 uh, it was my last preference right so uh, first two options are uh, pretty much same for everyone the third option yes. i think the location wise also it, it is somewhat better comparing with navy so that makes sense it yes, is yes. quality right and uh, fourth and fifth you can interchange also inas or inmms more or less uh, yes. could be similar yeah so priceless is also included in the esc 2024 so are you planning to give esc again actually it was quite clear uh, even in 24 itself i have uh, decided that i only wanted to join its irms i was not joining Uh, even in 2025 that i have filled the prefer- in my preference order irms is at fifth position so i am not going to fill it there are multiple reasons i talked to people also and they agree with me that first thing is that uh, the work life balance is not there in irms so a, a lot of workload is there second i am preparing from a very long time 
so now i am thinking that a balanced life i need my upcoming generation can think of uh, something bigger but i am thinking of this only and uh, second thing is remote location yeah that is also one of the thing is there that they can send me anywhere third thing i also heard that the technical part is not that much in railways for electronics engineer that also comparably then i found its is better and fourth and the last one i would say that in irms we have to deal with even uh, subordinate very lower level peoples also sometimes it becomes hectic that will not happen in its like so many reasons were there for me so that is why i preferred its the only good point in irms was that the facilities will be very good promotions are also much better comparing with all other services yes promotion is also good but for me i thought no from where i am coming even if they give me a place to stay that is more than enough for me i will do my service uh, that is enough for me so any plans of uh, preparing for civil services again no no i want to remain in technical field only so you are officially retired from a competitive exam yes yes i am retired now <laughs> <laughs> i will focus on uh, my job now uh, that is it excellent thanks man thank you so much for joining me it was uh, really fun talking to you thank you so much and if you are someone who is uh, preparing for gate or esc 2026 yes academy is launching new batches from december 1 the regular batches are starting from 24th jan and 23rd february i suggest all the future aspirants to join coaching as early as possible because that will give you enough time for preparation and revision also in the end without any hurry you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses